they were going to be making a hard trap beating machine, but it doesn't matter if you're in the machine or not. These steps can be followed easily on any workstation. Drop a comment below if you see a plugin that you don't recognize and I'll get back to you and let you know where I got it from. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to be dropping content like this weekly. Now let's get into this beat. All right, starting off with the melody, I started off with a piano. This one's called The Gentleman. Um, I'm going to play you the pattern without the effects that I added to make it sound a lot better. I'm going to play that one afterwards. So listen to it plain. Yeah, it sounds good, but it's missing something. It sounds a little plain. So I decided to add halftime. And it sounds like this after I added the halftime. All right, so after adding halftime, you can see that it really made it darker. Like, I'm going to show you exactly what settings I put it on. I put it on one bar, and that's it. I just put it on one bar. And that's how it sounded. So that's it for the piano. Next, I did vocal chops. This is with Arcade. So this is with an Arcade library called Hooked. So. Yeah, so this is how they sound. Once again, I'm going to be playing the version without what I added to make it sound better. So here. All right, so that sounded good, but I added some reverb and a filter on top of it to make it blend in with the track. So listen to it without. Sometimes by only adding reverb, you push a sound back into the background just to make it more subtle and not in your face. So I felt reverb was a good call on the vocal chops. So with the vocal chops and the piano, this is how it sounds. subtle you know we don't want to do too much all right next i added strings i'm going to play the strings without any effects on it and then next i'm going to show you what i did to make it sound better once again i just wanted to bring it back into the the background so I just added some reverb and a filter. So I'm going to play it with that added onto it. All right, now with everything now. That's our melody. Now we're going on to the drums. So now I'm going to start off with the 808 pattern. The 808 pattern is really simple and it sounds like this. That's it for the 808 pattern. I'm going to show you the, the hi-hats next. All right, this is the hi-hat pattern. All 
I really just alternated low and high notes and just added some triplets at the end of each bar, I think. Yeah, at the end of each bar, I add a triplet. Triplet. All right, next, I added a rim shot. Just a normal rim, rim shot. And then an open hi-hat came in next. You can see we're getting some bounce, a whole lot of bounce. And then a sound like this. All right. And next, I added a snare, a sort of rim shot like that, a percussion sound. All right, now with the percussion and the 808 together. All right, I know you guys noticed something. There's a kick drum missing. So when I added the kick drum, I made sure to add a compressor on my 808 to make sure that they hit not at the same time because the, they take up really the same frequencies, right? So I just side chained it to my compressor using the compressor, my 808, and my kick drum. So after doing that, it sounds like this. fire so that was the drum pattern i'm gonna play everything together now <laughs> listen i think that's fire you guys comment below and let me know what you think if you think that's some fire so I'm going to arrange the beat and let it play out for the rest of the video, but please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm going to be coming at you guys weekly with content like this. All right, no further ado, I'm going to let the beat play. This beat goes mod. 